No, because I'm talking about this rectangle here, right? Uh, so they're all times one fourth. So they're all going to be times one fourth because my pieces are one fourth. Whatever the bottom is, the bottom of a rectangle. Hope you guys are all working because usually this question, this problem gets like 50,000 questions and I've heard zero, which is stunning. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so looking at this one. I'm going to do left hand rectangles, right? So I'm going to start over here. Left hand side is zero, right? Yeah. So this is going to be zero <laughs> times the base, which is one fourth. Plus, now we do the next rectangle. So I go up the left side until I hit this side, and then I go, okay, here's my next rectangle. Right? So that I hit at what? One half. So I'm going to go one half times one fourth. Okay? So then I'm going to do the next one. I hit at root 2 over 2 using the left hand side. That's where it hits. So I use root 2 over 2 times 1 fourth. And then I do the same thing for the last one. So you always just go over one box. Whatever, whatever the, the sizing is, yes, that's what I'm going to go over, right? So they said 4 equals, if you look at the picture, it's 4 equal spaces, right? So it's 4 between 0 and 1. So it says each bottom has to be a 4. Did it start in the middle of the box? None of them should have started in the middle of the box. Which one? 25. Did not start in the middle of the box. 
Yeah. One of the things you're going to run into for AP Central is you're going to run into that they have to be really clear what they want you to do segment-wise, right? So they're going to make it really clear where the starting point and ending point is. Okay. What? And in this case, it's shading. They're going to do something like typically what they're going to do, just so you get some foreshadowing, is they're going to give you dots. They're not going to give you the whole shape. And then you're supposed to use the dots to figure out what your left hand rule is and what your right hand rule would be. You know what I mean? So they're not even going to tell you what's in between them. And that makes sense because if you're if you're trying to find the area of the curve, we're going to learn all sorts of tools for doing that. You wouldn't estimate one you had a tool for, right? Why would you go why would you go that way? So I hand over here somewhere, but I lost it. Yes, ma'am. You have to. What's your other option? How can you simplify that? Tell me how you simplify that. No, that's not simplification. That's rounding. Yeah. Yeah, eight. Isn't it eight? Sorry. Eight. Yeah. It's writing sideways. It's like this. Oh, this is the way, too. This is great. That's the right hand rule. So the right hand rule, I'm going to go. Now I'm in the exact same rectangles, except I'm going until I get to my right hand side. So I go my right hand side, that, and then I draw it over, right? So that's my first rectangle. And so that went one half, this is the height of my rectangle, times one fourth the base. Now I'm going to do the next one, it goes all the way up to here, then over, and then down. So that gives me root two over two, times one fourth. Now I go right hand side of my rectangle all the way up, then I go over, and then down. Three over two times one fourth, and the last one all the way up. I hit one all the way over, and then back down. Okay. And again, one I'm going to give you stuff outside the bound, and give you stuff inside the bound. Fair enough. Good. That's the kind of question I was waiting for. The last question: Why is why is one fourth? Disaster isn't quietly in the front. Why is it one fourth? Because it's because it's from zero to four. I have zero to one. I have four different slices, right? So each one can have four. But we're just talking about area of the rectangle, right? And remember that since Emily already said it, if we're going to we start shrinking these down and get better estimations, it is not impossible that we're going to pick very small slices if we want a better estimation. We can do sixteenths. We can do thirty seconds. Now, at some point, to answer Stephanie's question, if it gets ridiculous, you don't know how to write it in this form, you could actually decimalize it and let you do that. But only when it gets ridiculous. That's too early for you. Okay. All right, keep working.